Don't judge me here. I'm I'm messy. That's not exactly the most stable thing, but you know what? This is this is video number one or whatever. I'm not neat. I'm not clean. My garage is a mess. I'm lazy and I don't like cleaning. Worst case, can't use any of it. Best case, it works fine. Welcome back to part two of the microwave cabinet housing. How the cabinet microwave microwave house, that's what we're calling it. Last night we built that thing. It's it's getting there. We are it's all glued up. It looks pretty sturdy. There it is. So now this thing sturdy and won't be flopping around. We just need to test fit it, make sure we're right on the mark and then we can go ahead and start putting on the wings here maybe a backing for it as well because i just think it's better to have a little bit like the, the backing on to make it sturdy because that's like the legs here they're a little wobbly like it's just i guess I, I need for my own mental health i need it to just be Built, not I wouldn't say right or correct, just built up, built enough. So we're gonna we're gonna go and fit it here. Now I'm going to do too much and carry you and the shelf house and try to open doors. And by doors I mean this one. It doesn't fit. Like. So you remember yesterday when I said that I didn't take into consideration the thickness of the board? I did not factor in. The thickness of the board. With the legs, I was like, oh, it needs to be 16. And I checked the book thing. Yeah, no. I was I was right about me being wrong. Because it's supposed to be this length. What I did not remember to think about was that that's 30 inches. It needs to be 31 inches because the thickness of the board on both sides half inch half inch makes it 29 so if I cut this thing to 31 half inch half inch brings her down to 30 so We're gonna have to start over. If I would just take one more minute to think about things. But, I mean, I did take at least 20 minutes to come up with this idea. All right, back from Lowe's. We're 
I bought two more quarter sheets of plywood. We're, God, it's so aggravating. Yesterday, I was trying to buy the other piece. I was like, oh, try to buy the full sheet. I think I explained this. Try to buy the full sheet for 70, but there's two quarters for 50, because that's all I need. So I did that, spent 50 bucks. Well, messed up the whole freaking thing. Spent another $50. So I could have just gotten that one sheet for like 74 bucks, but no, I spent $112 on four quarters. For being a cheap ass, I am not good at it. The wood, the panels, gotta make sure I cut them correctly. Man. I might just be, I might be able to get away with just doing the one cut, the top part, 31 inches. So I still need the legs. I try to salvage the other one, but they are on there. And I feel like if I'm going to whack at them with a hammer or cut them off, it's just gonna ruin them. I didn't even think about cutting them off. I just thought about whacking them with a hammer because I'm, I'm angry, I'm not happy. But I think I can just get away with doing the one cut, 31 inches, 16 is 37, no, 47. So got an inch or so to spare, which is good enough. So we'll just hook up the dust circulator, get the, set up and basically what I did yesterday so you don't really need to see it because if you want if you want to see it see part one it's that but different by like one inch hopefully I don't mess it up so got this stuff so, and there you go now you can see it so this is it I redid it and it's, it fits. So that's good. Now, the only thing we gotta do is put the backing on. So what I'm going to do is use the other $24 piece of plywood I bought today and just make a back. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna rip this thing down to 31, measure somehow it's not 31 it's 31 and an eighth I don't know why that is apparently I don't know how to read the tape measure and cut things so yeah it's, it's bigger than I wanted it to be but that's better than expected better than being small ladies am I right so 30, what, 31, 8, I should probably write that down somewhere. Good thing about having everything matter, what if you can just draw on it and sand it away? Now, I'm not, I don't need to measure the bottom parts, because even if it's pushed out a little bit or pushed in a little bit, the best thing about plywood is it's pliable. You can just move it and it moves. Then I'm going to actually put some sort of, I don't remember if they're called rabbits or dagos. There's some, if it's an animal sounding thing, so a rabbit, there's one you can. So what I'm doing is, so this is the back on the side and on the top and on the other side, I'm going to put a group. That group is going to fit those panels. Be one half inch in and about a quarter of an inch through the wood. So then you just set it in place. And then you have the whole thing inside, well, half of it inside, I guess, and it's going to look nice. I'm again struggling with this damn router. Okay, that's out. Seriously, the second I turn on the damn camera, it fixes it. Okay, no. Yep, all right, we're in.
I'm gonna. I think the floor is probably better actually. A little bit more stable down here, you know what I'm saying? Jesus. Oh. Ow. Everything hurts. It's not working. Oh, good. All right. Well, hell no, I can't see. All right, so this is half inch. That's, that's, that's a little bit too much. Oh, okay, coming out pretty easily. Let's see. It's about halfway, about a quarter of an inch. I need to tell I need to like to see down here. Okay. Well, why, why don't you go up? You just need to go up a little bit. Don't that go? Oh, we got touch edge. You think this thing would just go up? Basically, just gotta force it. Need to go at like sixteenth. What? How? Why did it go up so far? Yep, locking it. We're in business. Not a financially stable business, but we got the lease at least. I'm gonna test it out, see if it even works. Ugh. God. I got the bones of an old woman. So if you can't tell what I'm doing, oh, because that's in the way. We gotta try to find a way to get this bit here. Cut the whole half inch on the sides and the top, but only a quarter of an inch through. Now, once again, I know this isn't a learning channel, but if you're here, you might as well learn something. But the issue is, I don't really know how to do that because, once again, everything you see here. This is homemade. This. And this and that. It's all glued and screwed together. And since you probably, if this is your first video, you might be shocked to see the quality of my equipment. But if you're been a member for at least three, maybe four days, you'd know that it's just not great stuff. Okay. So. Using the stock, using the old technique of just touching it. It's it's tried and true. Pretty sure this is how they built these pyramids. You know, just got their hooks around her and just kind of built it. And like you know, that's a, that's a good brick or whatever they used for those pyramids. Now here's the important part. Making sure it's straight. Here we got the big bow out. Oh yeah. There's a bit in there. Dang it. Well, can't use the big boy. But we can use the small boy. This side is straight. This side isn't close. We're just gonna go with it. There's a, oh, I lost it there. There's another way of doing this. 
It's on the table saw. I just don't want to mess with it. Safety tip. Turn it off before you plug it in. Alright, now we're in business. There's a stone in there. How did a stone get on the table? Who knows? Alright, I can already tell you. You see that? Yeah, we don't want that. We want we want that not to be there. So we just gotta adjust. And change. I guess the the fingers are a little off today. All right. Test this out again. It's like just a bit off. But let's give her a little test. Good enough for government work. That's it. It's pretty good. Oh yeah. Let's go test fit it. See? Maybe do a light sanding on this. Maybe get a little. It's a little rough, but it's fine. Get in there. There it is. Oh, that is nice. That is super nice. Look at that. I mean, it just it fits right in there. Turned you off. Sorry. I don't know what some of you guys might be thinking. It's not that hard. It's just you're making a box. And that, that's true. It's not hard. But when you do stuff like me, it's off the wall. You don't really plan much. Like right now, I had nowhere to put this. I just carried it over with no plan of attack. I, got, I just got stuff everywhere. Well, that's not supposed to happen. That's like, I'm gonna glue it on there. And voila, clean workspace. Now for gluing these things, it's just like anything else. Put way too much on there. Get it all over yourself. And call it good. How do you do your glue jobs? I'm assuming like everyone else. If you have a special way of doing it, good for you. Because I mean, there's no real special way of doing it. You just, you can use your finger, you can use some sort of, I had a barbecue brush somewhere. That's gone. One of the little silicone jobbies. Yeah, it was cool. I like peeling off the, all the, Dry glue. Now I don't remember which way this was in the dry fit, so where to go? I should have just. I should have tried it. 
should have done the dry fit one more time, but I'm pretty confident this will be fine. No, I'm not. Okay, now you can see this and this. I'm learning. Let me know if you have any filming tips. Unless it costs money, then you can keep those to yourself. You don't get a lot on here because you overdid it on this piece. See how it works? Oh, also, I didn't need to glue up all four spots, but I did. So, get in there. I gotta keep this off my hand. Work with me here. Chop. I'm actually kind of surprised I haven't ran out of nails yet. I feel like I've used a lot. Gang, this is it. This is what we're messing with right here. Nothing special, just the box. Now imagine this on the wall with a microwave in it. And then that's it. So what we got left is cut a hole in the top for the wiring, the big wire for the microwave. We're gonna paint it white. And I know, I know. A guy doesn't like the paint, but everything else in the kitchen is white, so we have to do something. So, I'm gonna clean up here and we're gonna go eat. So, it's been it's been a night. <laughs>